Welcome to the EZU Admin tutorial for adding new carriers and writing companies to your management system. Doing this will make carriers available for manual policies and allow their policies to be recognized when they're downloaded. So let's get started. When an agency is new to EasyLinks, an admin will need to add the agency's carriers to the master company list. Once the carrier and writing company are added to your master company list, they'll be available to select from your drop-down menu when creating a manual policy. You'll want to make sure to add your carriers to your master company list before you begin entering manual policies or receiving policy downloads from your carriers to ensure the policies reflect the correct carrier. To locate your master company list, hover over the settings icon and click on Manage Carriers Markets. Notice you can click Instructions to learn more and walk you through the process of adding carriers as well. Next, to add a new carrier, click on Add Master Company, then search for the carrier you would like to add and click on it. In the pop-up window, you'll have a list of writing companies the carrier is associated with and their NAIC codes. Check the box next to each writing company to add them as a writing company under the carrier. It's best practice to only associate a writing company to one carrier at a time. If you're unsure which ones you need to check, please reach out to your carrier for the respective NAIC codes for the writing companies you do business with. The writing companies will appear in the selected writing companies pane on the right-hand side after you've selected them. Once you've added all of the writing companies, click Save. Notice the new carrier appears in the list. Next, if you have an alliance partner also known as a market access provider or brokerage that is not listed as a carrier when you search for them, you can add your own custom company by clicking the link to add a custom company. Next, you'll need to enter the name of the carrier and click on Add Custom Company. Here you can search for the writing company you would like to add. In this field you can search by the name or NAIC number of the writing company. Once you've found your writing company, you'll click the box next to the name to add it to the selected writing company's pane. If your carrier has multiple writing companies, you'll need to repeat this process until all of them have been added. Once you're done adding your writing companies, click Save. Once the carrier has been added, it will appear under your master company list. If you have a company that you are no longer doing business with, you can hide the listing for that carrier by clicking Actions. Then Hide. And yes, in the pop-up window. This will remove the carrier from your drop-down menu when creating a manual policy. Please note that this removes all of the writing companies associated with that carrier as well. So please make sure that you're not expecting any more policy downloads from your carrier before hiding it. If you have a carrier that's been hidden that you would like to start working with again, you can make it visible by clicking the Show Hidden Master Companies box. Next, click Actions next to the company you want to unhide. Then click Edit Writing Companies. In the pop-up window, you'll select the writing companies and save as we showed before. Once saved, your master company list will update automatically. Once you've added some carriers to your carrier list, you can quickly locate your carriers by typing the name into the search field. If you need to update your writing companies for a carrier, you can click Actions, then Edit Writing Companies to add or remove your writing companies. You can also change the name of any custom carrier you've set up by clicking Edit Master Company Name. If you have a long list you can navigate to the additional pages of your carrier list by clicking the page number or arrows at the bottom of the page. Once your master company list is updated with your carriers, they'll appear in your drop-down list when creating manual policies, and downloaded policies will reflect the correct master company based on the NAIC code associated with the carrier. That is all for this EZU course, you should now have the knowledge and skills to add, edit and hide carriers for your management system. Thanks for watching.